All right, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing a melee only tier list because we have a certain uh, meta right now where basically Black Mage owns the game. Uh, for today, I got the one and only Midori Tenosu. Uh, if you don't know who he is, uh, check out Plus One Stream on Twitch in the Wolves League. He's a melee position player for Team Skill Issue. Also rank four monk in season 20 feast so that was the feast before the uh before the pvp changes and um before the wolves league started i know you're not solo queuing right now but i think you had like two characters or three characters in top 100 when you were actually yeah. playing solo queue yeah thanks to the intro yeah, i had three and then dsr dropped and the league started, and so I stopped solo queuing. Just scrims, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll play. I'll play into the end of the season and try to grind some ranks, but yeah, for now. <laughs> Especially with the meta, it's just one of those. So, right now, like, melee players are in shambles, pretty much. And, uh,. You know, the reason why I brought you on the show is because you're one of the few people who played all three melee together. Um, Four? Nah. Nope. I don't know about Ninja. I don't think I've seen you queue up as Ninja. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> I, I used to queue, and then I didn't like the play style, so I stopped playing it. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Sure go, man. I'll be talking about Ninja for the most part, and then uh, I'll also I've played Reaper from zero to two K, so it's less uh -huh. than uh, it's less than the Ninja game. But like my Ninja experience is, I have three characters in uh, I have three characters in five uh, K, and I'm working on my fourth one. Uh, specifically, this fourth character is going to be the only character that matters because you know climbing in the old meta is way different than climbing now so getting this next character to 5k will actually matter i suppose so let's talk about monk monk is so right off the bat i'm gonna put monk in s tier for melee that's my opinion but if you have a different opinion like just give me a reasoning and i'm like open to suggestion so for oh. me I played Monk on two characters. I played it on Huda from 0 to 4k in the Black Mage meta, and I also played it on Salwa from 0 to 4k as well. And I think that Monk is probably the only melee where... It's probably the only melee where the Black Mage is actually afraid of you, right? Like, the Black Mage isn't necessarily afraid of any other jobs. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, I, I think it's probably, I mean, I would probably put it at an A, mostly because, um, like, when you think about, when you think about the metal, like, what actually diffs Black Mage is just Monk's ability to one-shot in, um, it's LB combo if you're playing solo queue, um, and so, like, that's good. But the odds you're able to execute that consistently, like you have to just be perma training the Black Mage, and they have so much burst and CC that it becomes like, like at least as far as A is concerned, can survive and do well. I think I don't think any melee is different Black Mage right now. Oh, okay. Obviously. It's just turbo broken, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like. If there was going to be an S tier, like if any class could make it to S tier against Black Mage, it would be Monk. But if even Monk, if even, you know, Monk, if even Monk can't make it to S tier, then there's no S tier. <laughs> yeah. You're just holding that need L. A, yeah, you need a lot of stuff. Like you need an Astro, you need um, like a Dancer maybe on your team. And like you need teammates that can follow up with you, so it's really team dependent that I think makes Monk S. I think you see that a lot in LP. Like there's there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff you can do like in, in light party matches that you can't do in solo queue that really lets Monk open up and like showcase what it's about. Not only that, I don't think they're 
so many monk players that actually know how to play the job properly to where it becomes feasible. Like, I, I, maybe at the top top, monk is that type of way, but it's really, like I said, you need you need your team to enable you to really pop off on monk. And by pop off, I mean you do the most damage, you take the most damage, you do near most healing, you die. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to win like, a game, you die like you play like Lee Sin, you play like jungle. Yeah, Lee Sin, yeah, yeah, for basically. sure. Like to win a game as melee nowadays, like you have to be an absolute psychopath. Like, I feel like if I don't take every LB and survive. I'm going to lose the game. <laughs> like, like, I yeah. have to eat Marksman Spy. I have to eat Medio Drive. I have to outplay. I have to survive somehow. <laughs> like, yeah, you have I don't to, like, eat... pre-guard damage. You have to, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have like to do insane. everything. I think I think that's the state of the meta, though. With just, like, range spam. But then again, that's how it's always been. Monk and Feast is the same way. It's, like, very technical, high skill cap. Skill cap job, which is why... If you look back at Feast, there were only, like, maybe, like, three players on na or aether that could actually play the job correctly to so like if you looked at the proportion of monk players like there were like three that are like 2.8k plus and the rest of the melee on top 100 were Durg or samurai and so like it's, it's like an all or nothing job right it, and it always has been like your damage is front loaded um you have to cycle your gcd you have to count your gcd um and so yeah i don't know i, I think I think at like a technical level, it's probably S tier, but you know, juxtaposed against Black Mage right now, I think. Like you can't just piss on people, stun them, perma, do 16k damage burst, freeze them for 99 years. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Man. <laughs> you know, one thing I noticed is that like, um, if I'm like 1v1ing the Black Mage, like in the back of the arena, I mean, I have to play very good. Like, I. It's not like, um, I don't know if you played WoW or any other PvP games. Usually the melee caster matchup is like, he's in danger because I'm here. But the melee caster matchup in this game is like, I'm in danger because I'm here. And I need to be very good. Like, I have to LOS. Yeah. Like, I'm counting my debuff on freeze. Like, if I'm one, maybe I'll hit him. But if I'm two, I have to LOS. I have to run, you know? And if he has like super flare, uh, he'll just get the insta freeze anyway. You know, it's like, <laughs> yeah. uh, like I have to be very, very careful. Like, I think I'm never counting resources as much or like checking debuffs, checking buffs as much as when I'm playing the one v one like balcony fight next to a black mage. Like I'm checking my medio drive. Is it coming up? Is it coming up? You know, like it's very dangerous. But when we get to the other melee, like. Even though it is very dangerous for Monk, you are you are like the savior of solo queue. <laughs> like, you know, cool. like Prage. You know, like you are the guy who could turn the game into a playable game again. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah. I mean, I personally don't think Monk is like a one v one job. I think it has one v one burst. I think I think you can one one shot delete people, but I think Monk really shines on point where people are grouped. To be honest, like for instance, Ninja is like a backline job, right? Where we'll get to like Ninja in... more. Uh, I yeah. feel like the way, because of how dangerous the ranged are, I actually don't play. Like I don't play with like backline shenanigans anymore on Ninja. Oh, I used really? to, but yeah. like the the ranged are so dangerous now, like yeah. that I'm way better off just like. We'll get to Ninja in a second, but it's hilarious. Like, my win condition is messing my Black Mage. <laughs> That's my win condition. Yeah. I heal my Black Mage. I get in the Water Jutsu on cooldown. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel that. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think Monk gains most of its value from Phantom Rush, Rising Phoenix, and Enlightenment Cleave. Um, so that's why I think it's better, like, like, you can set up backline dives, but I think for the most part you're fighting on point, Riddle of Earth, like, you're just an AoE cleave um, monster, basically. Um, I see. If yeah. you had to pick between, okay, so I guess let's get into some, like, specific questions here. Let's say you have Meteor Drive, mm -hmm. and you're in an, in like a, in like a non-overtime fight, and there's a Black Mage on both teams. You have to pick between Meteor Driving like someone on point or just like ignoring the point and one-shot comboing the Black Mage. Which do you take? 
It depends. Like, if we're in the lead, I'd probably just remove the black mage from the game, right? Um, if, if we're... Actually, I think I'm always just killing black mage. Probably. Yeah, I was gonna say I always take the I always take the serial killer option on the black mage yeah. every time, hundred yeah. like, percent. I was wondering if you had like a, an, a disagreement, but we ended up agreement agreeing in this. It, well, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it depends. I think also on like if you're behind or if you're ahead, like what the numbers are looking like, stuff like that. But for the most part, it's a safe safe bet to just LB black mage on cooldown. I think and try to one shot. Yeah, I agree. And also, like, just making the game playable for your team is so huge. Like, because really, like, if the black mage is casting, the game's just not playable. Like, you got, like, yeah. four-man stuns yeah. on, on, like, every third GCD. It's kind of insane. All right. And uh, speaking of Cleave, actually, I wanted to get into Dragoon. I actually think Dragoon is A tier as well. It can survive and do well, but it for a different reason. Um... So if Monk is the serial killer, it's like the Black Mage deleter. Dragoon is like the, it just kills, you're pretty much banking on killing the opponent team instead. Like you can't, you can like throw a worm wave, like a 20k worm wave thrust just straight through the point, you know? And um, I've seen it happen, like a 30k combo straight through the point, like worm wave thrust plus Nastron. And it's like, whoa, where'd my team go? But what do you think? Um, yeah, I think Dragoon's always been really good. Uh, I think it, yeah, it's still, still very strong. Like you said, I mean, you get a lot of value out of Garrus Grogal, Wormwind Thrust, um, Heaven's Thrust. And your ability to stack out people with that amount of damage, like, you can effectively just jump on a Black Mage and kill him, or force a guard or something, just with that combo alone, so... I think you have a lot of stopping power. You have a you have like a good amount of AoE cleave. You also have good single target burst. So, I mean, in that sense, it's the same as Monk. Um, you also get your fifty percent mitt, which is nice. I would say. Um, yeah. I mean, LB is good too. I think Dragoon LB is strong. If you were um, playing uh, Dragoon, would you take the serial killer route or would you play for point? I would say it's point play more. I think it depends again, like, so, in the current state of the meta, at least from what I've been able to look at, it's just people can't team fight without you, <laughs> and so <laughs> you kind of need the Dragoon sustain, and so, like, if you're gonna force a team fight, you probably force it where everybody can get, which is usually point, like, if Black Mage walks up, you can dive, so, uh, I guess there's that angle, um, it's really... I don't know. It really, it's really situational, I suppose. Like, depends on what enemy team mana is and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I don't know. The problem is Dragoon is very fragile outside of Horde Roar, so like you always want to be mindful of that and make sure you have like yeah. disengage tools and whatnot. I mean, it's more fragile probably than Monk. And Actually, also, you pre-pop your escape to get Wormwind Thrust. So if you get caught. Yeah, Jumping I mean, for there's the there's a rotation thrust? there's a rotation I do that like doesn't do that. Um, you don't lead with Wormwind. This is the key. You high jump, gear Skogel, Horrid Roar, uh, elusive jump, then Wormwind, and you you walk back in, but you've effectively disengaged for however many GCDs that is and broken. Aggro and LOS, so I personally think that's better because it gives you the option of having an elusive jump while like still giving you the damage for it. Mm, okay. But th to each their own. I mean, people like to pre worm end. I think both are viable. It really depends um, what you're going for. I think elusive, like like high jump, horror or elusive, guess Google, like all those are like very strong for entry and exit. So. I think for the most part, Dragoon's still really strong, at least from what I've played of it. Do you think that the fact that uh, the damage is not instant causes it to have a problem? Like no, because it's still have... it's still snapshots, right? So, or what do you mean by instant damage? So, like for example, the monk combo is like 
it after the meteor drive animation goes off the player receives like 48k damage all in one shot so there's no recouping in between damage instances but with dragoon the black mage player has the ability to recuperate like to press his heal button in between like nastrond jerskogel in between each of these buttons he has the ability to recuperate yeah so i mean dragoon's always been like a pressure job um most most certainly like obviously monk's always been a one-shot job so outside of your one shot you kind of have nothing but i don't really see it as an issue obviously the difference between monk and dragoon effectively is like you have hard engage on monk with your stun but you do not have like a stun or anything on dragoon so that's the trade-off you get is like you can dive backline but you need cc or you just need to train like permanently with your team to be able to kill so i think those are where they, I, I guess, differentiate between between Monk and Dragoon. So, um, with that in mind, I don't I don't know if it's necessarily a problem because like your teammates can CC or the Black Mage can just be low mana or not have guard or whatever. And I guess it'd really be up to the melee player to determine that and to try to like make these fights happen and choreograph that. Um. Which all comes into like macro melee strategy, which is, you know, not something you really learn. It's something you like you. You sort of like get a feel for it over time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it just comes with experience and with um, you know, kind of knowing the the landscape of the fight. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna actually start with Reaper here because I think Reaper is better than expected. Um, I don't think it's difficult or do not play and the main interesting part about reaper is that it's actually it's like more tankier than like warrior gunbreaker and like maybe dark knight but like the tankiness on reaper is insane um but here's the thing about needs team help it's like if you so the main thing about reaper is like your the whole game plan is you're hoping they press buttons on you because if they don't press buttons on you <laughs> You're gonna lose the game because you really really need to milk the healing value reaper is probably the only melee that has like on demand zero condition shielding and healing so if we talk about a uh, monk riddle of earth you can get outplayed you can get silenced like let's say you're stacking a a fat riddle of earth two seconds are left you're about to press the button you get stunned just in the purify animation to get rid of the stun, you will not get the riddle of earth because the purify takes a forever and a half to proc, you know? Yeah, but yeah. the Reaper Crest is actually really, really, really good. And the reason why it's super good is because it shields you and it's a separate button that does not require additional work or additional input so if we compare the reaper shield to riddle of earth riddle of earth has like you press it it does nothing you have to bank it you have to check don't get cc'd guard plus riddle of earth is not a good idea because you don't take any damage so you won't heal for anything there's like a lot of stuff here that could go wrong the same with the ninja stuff every time you ninja shield it's like you just lost 16k damage because if you ninja shield, that could have been a fireball, that could have been an ice shuriken. Both of those moves, fireball is 20k potency in an AoE, and ice shuriken is 16k in a shot, like one shot. So if they force you to shield, they pretty much made you lose a bajillion damage. So the ninja defensives have like a strong cost associated with them, and the monk defensives has like very high potential to fail <laughs> if you're not careful but the reaper defensive is like you just press that shit and it works god bless you know <laughs> like, it's so beautiful i love it and i've never been a fan of reaper but like really like there is a noteworthy reaper player right now in uh, crystal and when he goes in he just fucking monkeys in and it's okay it's like completely okay because he pre-pop shield he monkeys in he takes like 30k damage and um 
he heals back. Like the thing when it breaks, the Reaper Shield when it breaks, it gives your whole team uh, 6k, uh, 6k healing over time for like four seconds. So it, like, I think it takes twice. So basically, you just gave your team like a free recuperate. It's like you're starting to see a pattern here that like the melee value and the reason why Ninja's pretty good. I'm gonna I, I think Ninja's okay as well. Is that like you get to heal your team pretty much? That's like we're in a weird position right now where like the range are so strong that like your position as a melee is just like playing with your range like the range are the shot callers now like you're following the range target pretty much another thing about reaper is that the lb is super fast and like if you get a reaper who is able who like understands that they could just throw the fear on a black mage like they just every 45 seconds they just solo lb the black mage it becomes like a Walmart Meteo Drive, and like I'll take it, you know. If I'm playing, like if I'm playing and I'm eyeing down the uh, the Black Mage, and my and the Reaper goes in, he does like a one man fear. It's like, you know, good job, thank you very much, brother. Like we take those, uh, we kill the Black Mage, and then we like we can play the game. You know what I'm saying? Main problem with Reaper though, as usual, is the damage is very slow, so it really does need team help in the offensive department. Yeah, I think uh, Reaper is like a nice shield and, and CC bot. I think that's all it's really good for, for sure. Um, I mean, we always joke that Reapers are immortal, like actually immortal. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's so crazy. Like they don't do your much else, but yeah, don't get baited. Pressing your bonds on a Reaper, you're gonna waste yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, literally, you just ignore them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Reaper is better than expected. Like I'm, uh, I'm not a Reaper hater anymore. Let's go to Ninja. I think Ninja is also needs team help. Now it can do A, uh, and I happen to be a Ninja main, so I feel like it's weaker or like maybe I'm more biased. What do you think? Do you think it deserves A or B? I would say B. Ninja. But let's see. I mean, I don't think you really have enough solo carry potential in Ninja to affect the game. I, can, I think you can solo carry on Dragoon by just doing infinite damage. I think you can solo carry on Monk. Um, well, it's not really about carrying. It's, it's more like how well do you survive against ranged. Yeah. Like, like what? Well, I think that's what I mean. I think, I think. Yeah. So like the the reason Monk survives is because it can one shot stuff and it has good sustain, good cleave damage, good healing, whatever. I think the reason Dragoon can survive it has good disengage, it has good engage, and it has a ton of damage. And so like your peel is your burst, and you're peeling people, you're forcing guards, you're forcing them to pot and run away in elixir. And I just don't feel like Ninja does better than Monk or Dragoon in that respect um, t to actually shine. Like, I think I think Ninja gets really shut down in this meta right now. I was just about to say, like, the main problem with Ninja goes back to that thing I was talking about earlier, that your defensives are not free. So everyone likes to say that the defensives on Ninja are so good, and, you know, and I agree, they're good buttons. But here's the thing. If you force me to double pop defensives, you just saved your team, like, 40k damage, you know? Like if I if I get a two man caton, a two man fireball, but like because of range damage or range pressure or like random black mage AoE, I have to Hutan instead. Like that black mage blocked he pretty much like blocked 20k damage from for his team just by forcing the ninja to mudra and pick a defense mudra. Because the mudra is like anytime you don't pick a damage option, you lose pretty much the other thing with uh, ninja is that like um i don't know if you're aware or if you've noticed but meteo drive has like cc immunity on it i don't did you ever know that like did you ever notice that like if you press meteo drive on someone but you get stunned the meteo drive comes through anyway yeah 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 of course uh, yeah. Meteor drive satan busted. yeah satan is not like that <laughs> So, <laughs> Satan, what will happen is like, and this has happened quite a bit, is I'll be like on my second reset 
and like I press the button and get frozen mid air on my way to like dashing to him. And then I lose the reset, you know? And it's like, there's no way. I'm going to say that maybe the Black Mage player I'm playing against is super skilled and he did that on purpose, right? But, you know, it's more likely that I just got hit by Super Flare and I had one stack of ice because of AoE. You know, like you just get accidentally, <laughs> you just get accidentally stunned out of your Satan. You got, you got diffed, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just fucking skilled diff. Another thing is that, like, basically, Sukuchi never works. And it's not because of the nerf. Like, the nerf, I think the Sukuchi nerf, where, like, you can't sprint or whatever, like, that shit doesn't matter. Well, the real problem is that, like, you can't even Sukuchi because Super Flare knocks you out of Sukuchi even if you take zero damage. So, like, you'll just, you, like, there's a lot of stuff about Ninja right now that is, like, blocked by the ranged meta. Like, even summoners do it as well. Like, just the random mountain busters, like... You, like, I've been Satan and in the middle of my travel, I get AoE Mountain Buster. Like, the guy wasn't even targeting me, but then I get binded, and the bind stops my Satan. It's like, all this random stuff that's, like, going on is going to really, really test your patience. Um, that being said, like, the way to play Ninja now is, yo, I just cycle, like, I cycle a damage button, and then I cycle a heal for my team. So, like, basically, usually every game, you're going to get, like, a caster, like, a summoner, red mage, black mage. And, basically, that guy is the carry. And what you're going to do is that, like, if there's any point in time that this guy is taking damage, like, he's in guard, he's half health, I just give him the uh, the sweet ton, uh, water jutsu or whatever. The Mesui. Mesui. Yeah, Mesui. <laughs> yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah. give him the heal. I just give him the heal. Like, that's how I win games. <laughs> like... Yes, that's sir, how yes, <laughs> it's like all right boss here you go here's your fucking heal bro and like they, i know they nerfed mess or whatever but like it's still your best option to be honest because your shitty like 5k damage over time aoe doesn't matter if your black mage dies like you got to make sure that guy is alive <laughs> you know like yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah. oh, somebody's diving my black mage. Okay, here you get a mess with me, and I'm gonna double ride you him for you. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just by virtue of that personality, like that type of thinking, like I I need team help. Like I can't if my black mage dies, like it's kind of an L. But I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure he doesn't die. As opposed to like monk, where it's like I don't give a fuck what my team's doing. I'm just going to kill the other black mage. He's going to get put in the dirt. <laughs> That's yeah, my... Yeah, the angle is very different. Like, the psychology is, like, different. Yeah, no, I agree. I think, yeah, one's, like, a supportive role and one's an actual playmaker in this meta, for sure. Um, main ninja as a support and monk is, like, a playmaker, for sure. All right. So Last year... Yeah. Um, Last year, talk about samurai. Uh, samurai. I actually think it's... It's gonna be hard for you. Mm, let me think. I mean, yeah, that's probably accurate, honestly. Um, my take on Samurai now. Problem with Samurai is that like, it got nerfed because 50% was too much. But now we're like in a meta where it's like, 50% would be barely enough, you know? <laughs> Like, for the samurai to get in and play, like, an actual melee job, he needs 50% back. Like, the 25% cheat end is just not enough because he, he has no escape. So, if we look at all these other jobs, like, we didn't even come up, we didn't even mention this. But one thing you notice is that the, the all four of these guys can bail if they have to. Thunderclap to an ally, backflip out, reverse teleport, Sukuchi out. You got something. If it goes bad, you can escape. And that's kind of hilarious to say because usually the melee position in like MMO PvP is like the hunter. It usually doesn't require an escape, but uh, we're living in strange times. And uh, Samurai has no way out. He's going to dash in. He's going to try and press binds. He's going to get body. Yeah, I think that's probably true. I mean, you have hard engage and stun, but uh, yeah, I think, I think Sam has actually... A difficult time you don't have any heal sustain you don't have anything like all you have is cheetah right you have akka but akka is like bad for healing which is like your aoe yeah the aoe steal. third combo and, yeah 
Yeah. And it, let's say you hit it on five people perfectly. It's 20k HP back, which is good. That's very good. But it's not the same as Reaper, which is like a 12k shield plus 12k heal by itself. Or even Riddle of Earth, you can get like a 20k heal back. You can get if like time 40. Well. Real, real you need to recoup. know how to get it. Real is know how to get forward. <laughs> you need to yeah. recoup in the Riddle of Earth animation, no? Like, you need to recoup. You couldn't get 40 on one life bar. No, no, no. You, you basically run in, like, you just you just power chug while you're getting burst. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Burst, you need to, re to yeah, live, empty you your paw, mana. You go back in, you press guard, you bait it, you paw it again, then you pop it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you still die sometimes, but you see the 40k so, go off. Yeah, so you see it pop I'm off at, on top of your dead body. <laughs> <The plastic>. Yeah. <laughs> shout outs, shout outs to Jay Vermillion. <laughs> I seen Pretty him uh, on his. Uh, he actually posted a clip or like a screenshot earlier. We had like a, he had like a 36k riddle of earth, but it didn't go off. He got server tick diff. Fucking unlucky. Uh, I love him. He's gonna be uh. We'll probably do like the we did the monk the first monk video together he's a great guy okay. all right uh yeah so for samurai like i feel like it's a very good class but like offensive wise but if you ever get caught in trouble like you're dead you have no option out and that is a very big hindrance with the way like ranged because ranged gamers now like the machinist actually runs you down. Like, did you notice that? That like machinist players are running you down when you're the melee? Like they run you down. Analysis air anchor uh marksman spite. That that's like the ranged medio drive combo. You just get fucked. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. <laughs> yeah, I think analysis uh analysis drill LB is a one shot on like most jaws. I think it's actually like fifty eight K or something like that. In one, well, drill one, one you tick. can recoup. You can recoup in between that, but air anchor is a stack. No, no, no. It, it stacks. It stacks. Like I, I saw, I saw some people doing it in scrims. Like oh, you tick your drill and you instant LV, and the way it snapshots is you just, you're just dead. Oh, is it like <laughs> the old uh, tornado kick forbidden chakra interaction? Yes, kind of. Yeah, there's like a delay okay, on okay. the damage. I'll yeah. just explain it for people who are new. So like. There was an old monk combo that involved like animation registration. So some moves register slower than others. So if you play, if you press the slow move first and the fast move second, both damage pieces register simultaneously, which means the opponent has no recuperation in between the two damage instances. So uh, what he's talking about for those who don't know is that like because drill has a severe animation delay. You can press drill first and then marksman spike right after and it will cause like a very very strong instance of damage to happen simultaneously because the two pieces of damage register at the same time because of the way that the registration server tick programming is uh, done which is uh, beautiful i love final fantasy 14. <laughs> Dude, I'm doing yeah. my best. <laughs> I'm doing my best. We're not this toxic. Apps. Apps, <laughs> I swear I'm not toxic. <laughs> <laughs> Same, man. Same. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It, it's That's rough it. for Samurai. That being said, yeah. if you're winning, Samurai is a very good win more job. Because if you somehow start winning the game and you give him the time to get his LB, let's say you win, you're winning. You make it to 50%. Samurai has his LB. I, I, by the time you made it to 50%, he can just LB the point, and he gets like a two piece, a one piece, and then he just wins harder, and it's very good. But yeah. if he's he, in trouble, the, the problem, it's over. bro, is that you could do that with Ninja or Mong, and you get your LB back faster, you know? Like yes, true. Actually, yeah, you're right because by the time <laughs> yeah, Sam, that's, that's by the, the time issue. Samurai has his first LB, you've already cycled Media Drive twice. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, that's like, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, I don't want to ever say that like don't play a job, and like you know, I think that if you're a samurai main, there is hope, hopium. But you know, it's kind of rough. 
it's kind of rough because like even reaper has like an angle it has like an angle against ranged players and that's like saving your allies hp bars by soaking all the damage but samurai cannot soak damage as effectively uh but it is what it is yeah do you have any uh any closing thoughts like tips or technical things that you'd like to say on surviving his melee like in general i mean so we we sort of went over like the viability of melee jobs right now um i think uh, in terms of general guidance on like how to play melee uh use walls a lot kite into walls kite around walls take unorthodox walling like pass to los um casters and stuff like just just get better movement just work on your movement if if you're trying to learn melee try to pillar try to kite you know like movement and kiting is super important on melee i think it's probably the most important thing you can do um, as a melee to mitigate damage set up kills draw people out of position and so on and so forth so i think i think that's pretty pretty important and that's how we think of our matches like when we play as a team we think of positioning and kiting a lot so yeah i think right. i think that's it for me yeah yeah and i think i i'm glad that uh he said that because that's not something that people usually think about like the melee position you really have to abuse uh cutting the opponent's cast bar but not cutting the opponent's cast bar by a stun like you just walk behind something and his cast gets cut you know yeah um yeah. I think we wrapped up here uh, for everyone who's watching. Uh, Midori is going to be playing in the tournament this Saturday. Uh, yes. Team Skill Issue at twitch.tv slash plus one. So if you want to check him out there, he's going to be, surely, he's going to be getting the easy W. Surely. Sure. Uh, and We're you not just playing pull games up and... anymore, man. Nah. <laughs> pull up, yeah. you know, support the kid. And uh, also, you stream, right? You have your own Twitch channel. It's uh, twitch.tv slash Midori, M-E-D-O-R-I-I, two I's. Yes, uh, sir. So check him out there. Uh, very cool stream, very chill atmosphere. Sometimes a little bit funny for the wrong reasons. Uh, <laughs> what? But it's a non-brand uh, non risk family yeah, 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 sponsor from the stream perma. Yes, yes, yes. We are <laughs> reformed gamers, hundred <laughs> percent. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right, that's it. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for coming on, and thank you all for watching. Take it easy, peace.